Hi guys. Today we will analyze Morgan Stanley stock and calculate its intrinsic value using two different valuation models. Enjoy. Hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. Technical analysis. The stock has been an average performer in the overall market. Also recent evolutions are not positive. The short term trend is negative, the long term trend is negative. There should be more interesting stocks out there. Support levels are around $76.70 and $67. Next support level is around $55. Resistance levels are around $84.50 and $87.50. And Next resistance levels are around $95 and $105. In the last month the stock has been trading between $76.80 and $92.90 and range, which is wide. It is currently trading near the lows of this range. The stock has an average volume of 9.6 million. This is a good sign as it is always nice to have a liquid stock. The stock has been in a downward trend since February 2022. Be careful. Intrinsic value. Buy low, sell high. We have heard it many times before. But how to know when it's low, and when it's high? The intrinsic value of a stock, is its true value. It refers to what a stock is actually worth. Even if some investors think it's worth a lot more than that amount. Intrinsic value is important, because it can help investors understand whether the cost of a stock is undervalued, or overvalued compared to the market value of the stock. Valuing Financial Institutions Understanding why financial institutions are different from traditional real sector companies is key. Banks function differently than traditional cash flow driven companies. Traditional companies create products to make money. The products of banks are money. Banks are highly levered and they do not reinvest debt in the business and instead use it to create more money. They make money via interest. So, they view debt and interest differently. That's why, our favorite discounted cash flow valuation method doesn't work for banks and insurance companies. Intrinsic Values Calculations Let's calculate the stock's intrinsic value. For more accurate results, we will use two different valuation models to calculate the intrinsic value of the stock. The excess return model. This approach is used for financial institutions where free cash flow is difficult to estimate. Then, we will use valuation based on earnings per share, EPS, 5-year average P-E ratio and expected growth rate. First model. Excess return model valuation. This spreadsheet contains some financial data that we will use for the stock valuation. In this valuation I will use margin of safety. 30%. Once we actually figure out what we think this stock is worth, we are only going to buy this stock if it gets 30% of what we think it's worth. It gives us a big margin of safety if our predictions are wrong. In other words, when something is worth $1, I want to pay only 70 cents for it. I want to be conservative with financial institutions. So, my margin of safety is 30%. According to our formula, the fair value of the stock is $124.39. When we apply the margin of safety to that value, the fair value of the stock would be $87.07. That's the price that I may want to pay for this stock. Second model. Valuation based on earnings per share. This spreadsheet contains another financial data that we will use for the stock valuation. The current earning per share price for Morgan Stanley is 7.86. Minimum rate of return. I will use 10%. Because when we invest in individual companies, we are looking for a higher return than the S&P 500. For Morgan Stanley, analysts forecast growth rate around 8% per year in next 5 years, and future PE around 10. I will use 3 different scenarios for Morgan Stanley Company, bad, average, and good. First scenario. Morgan Stanley will have bad performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future growth rate would be low. 6%. Future P.E. would be low, 9. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $51. Second scenario. Morgan Stanley will have average performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future growth rate would be average, 7%. Future P.E. would be average, 10. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $61. Third scenario. Morgan Stanley will have high performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future growth rate would be high, 8%. Future P.E. would be high, 11. In this case, 
the fair value of the stock today would be $73. As you can see, today the stock is a bit overvalued, $78, even if we expect the company's high performance in future. The fundamentals are good. However, the stock has been in a downward trend since February 2022, and it can go lower before it recovers. And the stock is a bit overpriced at the moment. I may consider buying the stock for the dividend, 3.56% yearly, if the stock drops below $70. Company Strengths Morgan Stanley is an American multinational investment bank and financial services company, with offices in more than 42 countries. Its businesses include institutional securities sales and trading, investment banking, retail securities brokerage, and institutional asset management. The recent acquisitions of Atrade and Eaton Vance have increased the percentage of revenue coming from wealth management and investment management, and provided greater revenue stability. Increases in asset prices and interest rates can materially improve revenue and operating margins in the company's asset management and wealth management segments. Increases in either of these areas will be a positive catalyst. The company has billions of dollars in excess capital that it can use for acquisitions or return to shareholders. Morgan Stanley has a profit margin of 24.2%. This is comparable to the industry average of 23.8%. Its return on equity of 14.6% is comparable to the industry average of 17%. Risks Morgan Stanley is broadly exposed to conditions in the global economy and financial markets, as well as to changes in financial regulations. The company has performed exceptionally well over the previous several of years, and any missteps could reverse recently positive market sentiment. Recent acquisitions may fail to live up expectations. Self-directed trading activity could be at a cyclical high, while many asset management mergers don't lead to improved net asset inflows. Morgan Stanley's return on assets of 1.3% is worse than the rest of the industry. The industry average return on assets is 5.4%. Based on estimates for the next five years, Morgan Stanley will show a small growth in revenue and EPS. The revenue will grow by 6 to 10% on average per year. The earnings per share is expected to grow by 8 to 12% on average over the next five years. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel.